Hey guys, uh, this is going to be a, a project for me. It's a Cub Cadet 125. Um, it needs a lot of work. It's been set for 20 plus years. Um, it was a one owner tractor. It belonged to a farmer who passed away uh, around early 2000. And um, the, I purchased the tractor from the farmer's son and the son remembers working on this tractor when he was a kid. Um, so today's task is to remove the uh, cylinder head and just check the condition of the inside of the engine, check the valves, and hopefully it will be running in a few days. Um, again, it's not the prettiest. It needs a ton of work. Definitely a good foundation for our project. Um, so this will be part one of my somewhat restoration project on this Cub Cadet 125. So to get to the cylinder head, I've never worked on one of these tractors before, so I'm sure you guys who own these probably have better ways of doing this, but this is the approach I'm going to take. Um, I'm going to remove the fuel tank, obviously, to get to the cylinder head. So I'm using some quality snap-on flare wrenches to loosen these fuel lines. Then the tank is junk, so it used to be the home of some mouse by the looks of it. So I do have a used tank ready to go. And also, the exhaust is completely plugged. So I have no idea what I'm gonna find once we pull the head off, but I thought I would definitely bring you guys along for the ride. Alrighty, so the uh, gas tank is removed. Uh, the head balls are all loose. I started from the inside and worked my way outwards. Um, I did need to use some heat for one of the bolts and obviously some quality air tools just to make my job just a little bit easier. Uh, so far, no broken bolts or any other casualties. So, so far, so good. So, the uh, cylinder head is off. We have a uh, stuck open exhaust valve and some uh, debris underneath the exhaust valve which I believe is remnants of a mouse nest so I removed the carburetor to access the valve cover um, I do not have a valve spring compressor to remove the valve so that's where we are right now I just spent half an hour trying to remove the seat. The bolts were definitely a challenge to get loose. Um, but this is where we are at. Um, I'm going to buy a used cylinder head and then um, remove the valves, clean them up, lap them, and set bar clearance. And then um, go from there. When I do pull the valves out, I'll definitely make sure that I uh, make a video of that. Um, so yeah, what do you guys think? It's gonna be a fun project for sure. It's also gonna be a lot of uh, cuss words. And I'm sure it's gonna fight me uh, in other places too once uh, it's running, but we will see.